Satellite imagery has revolutionized industries all around the world. The resolution and clarity of these images keeps increasing and because of that, so does our ability to see more clearly both the natural and built environment that covers the planet's surface. But what about the accuracy of these images? For certain applications, using the clearest imagery available will be enough. However, for many others, knowing the geographic accuracy of each pixel is going to be crucial. Imagine that you've been sent to clear vegetation by the side of a railway. Based on satellite imagery analysis, you've been given the coordinates of a stand of trees that are in urgent need of cutting back. But when you arrive at that location, you don't see them. You've got a full day of work ahead of you and can't spend time looking for them. So you get on with your other jobs. Those overgrown trees aren't cleared and keep growing. The accuracy of satellite imagery is often hidden on a single line in a vast table of other technical specifications. So let's shine a light on image accuracy and better understand the benefits that an accurate image can provide. There are four important terms we need to discuss to understand the accuracy of satellite imagery. Absolute accuracy, relative accuracy, resolution, and orthorectification. Absolute accuracy is how close a pixel in the image is to the actual location on Earth. Whilst resolution plays a role, absolute accuracy is more often determined by the positioning device on the satellite. These satellites are 600 kilometers above us and traveling at around 20,000 kilometers an hour. So you can see that they need very sophisticated positioning devices to instantly record the location of an image. Relative accuracy refers to the distances between objects visible in the image. For example, I know that this ship is exactly 300 meters long. So when I measure its length on an image, it should scale to be as close to 300 meters as possible. Resolution plays a significant role in the accuracy of satellite imagery. The higher the resolution, the better the display of objects and their relationships to each other. For example, a 30 centimeter resolution image from the Worldview 3 satellite will allow for significantly better pointing accuracy and precise measurements than a one meter resolution alternative. Our Earth isn't flat, the terrain that covers it isn't smooth, and satellites are very rarely pointing straight down. All these factors will affect the accuracy of the images collected. Orthorectification is the use of a digital elevation model to correct these inaccuracies. It is worth noting that the measurements you make on a satellite image will only be as good as the quality of this orthorectification process. When we talk about accuracy, what we are really talking about is confidence. The Worldview satellite constellation provides an absolute geolocation accuracy of 5 meters using the CE90 standard. That translates into English as you can be 90% confident that the object in question is within a 5 meter radius of its actual location on the ground. This can be further increased to under 10 centimeters with what are known as ground control points. These are just points on the ground whose coordinates are already known. But not all satellite imagery providers measure their accuracy in the same way. Let's find out more from Maria at European Space Imaging. Hi everyone, as mentioned, there are many ways to calculate image accuracy. Instead of CE90 or the circular error of 90% of the measured points, some might also use RMSE, root mean square error. These are different statistical descriptors. Now, don't worry about it too much. We're not going to discuss the difference between how CE90 and RMSC are calculated, but I think it's just important to know that they are not the same. Earlier, we already said that the Worldview constellation has an accuracy of 5 meters CE90. Well, stated as RMSC, it then has an accuracy of 2.3 meters. That seems like a huge difference and can make some satellites appear more accurate when compared side by side. So always pay attention to the statistical descriptors when you are researching the accuracy of a satellite. And if you have questions related to anything regarding satellite imagery, feel free to reach out to us at European Space Imaging. We are happy to help you. Thanks, Maria. So now you know about satellite image accuracy. 
But why does it matter? Could less accurate imagery cause your project to be hit with expensive fines or even put your workforce at risk? The short answer is yes. Remember that at the beginning of this video, you were sent to clear vegetation from a railway. Well, those trees you couldn't find near the tracks continue to grow and now they pose a risk to passenger safety. That's why in heavily regulated industries such as transport, the difference of a few metres can have significant legal consequences. Accurate earth observation imagery data is fundamental to all our lives and the businesses we work for. Remarkably, more than 90% of all companies in the world rely on some form of accurate locational intelligence. Head over to euspaceimaging.com to learn more about accuracy and everything else related to very high resolution satellite imagery. Thanks and see you next time.